Welcome, welcome, uh, Mwebale. Thank you so much for tuning in and good evening, all of you. This is Caroline Ajuna Kibuka Atenyi, the host of uh, Erakali Abunyoro, the voice of Bunyoro in the diaspora. Mwebale Muno Inuena Kutuninga in Abanyoro Nabanyoro Kati and friends of Bunyoro. Thank you so much for tuning in, all of you. Kabulikiro, Ninyenda Kubajuki Amukake, and Tisho Enu, represented in two, two languages, that is Runyoro and English. Runyoro being the language spoken by the people who come from Bunyoro and Bunyoro is found in the western part of Uganda uh, and that is in uh, East Africa. Ninyenda munyikirize mu kake, I want to ask for permission to allow me to send my our condolences to all those who have lost their beloved ones. Itwe hanu hairua kali Bunyoro in the diaspora would like to send our sincere condolences and sympathies to all those families that have lost their beloved ones in the past week. Uh, we want to remember the family of our brother, Wandera Isingoma David Amoti, who has laid today to rest in Masindi. And kuijuka omkaikuru atenyi omfakati Nabana bona awomgenzi David Amoti abalekere ni tusaba mukama yongere kubagumia kandi nabo bona abanywani baitu ababunyoro Kitad Romance Association omuntu naba a very active member akaba ali member wa abunyoro Kitad Romance Association ya kandi na akora mune emirimo ya bunyoro itwe nkabanyoro tufererwe muno and i want to say he will dearly be missed uh, may all the souls of those who have departed rest in peace. With that uh, message, allow me to say we are going to play for you this amazing song from our own musicians back home. And uh, this, band is, uh, this song is by Igema Band or Igema Family as they call themselves. And the song is Aijuka. And I hope you'll enjoy the amazing song as we return uh, to introduce our guest tonight. Mutio Abanyoro and Abanyoro Katia and friends of Bunyoro enjoy this amazing song. Can you 
Kani bachanga, kazi na ijuka and indeed mukama waitu ajuka. Kandi ito ituena, awale mereirwe, awa kutekereza, ntevintu vyo na vikangire, tuijuke, nti mukama waitu ajuka. The God that we serve always remembers us. That is all about that song. Kazi na kabaile karungi muna vojo bachangire mahano. Kandi ni inhira mukanyumirwe. Hata, without wasting a lot of time, allow me to invite our guest on uh, online. And the topic today, as she is brought on, to, on the line, uh, I want to remind our viewers that our topic today is mental health. Mm -hmm. And we are going to be specifically looking at or talking about mainly about Bunyoro, but doesn't mean that this uh, topic is just only about the mental health we are going to talk about is only in Bunyoro. But our case study is Bunyoro, being that we are on a rakali Bunyoro in the diaspora, meaning to kubaliza abanyoro abona abalom diaspora and across the world. Um, Abuoli, thank you so much again uh, for accepting to come here. A rakali Bunyoro in the diaspora. I'm Maniro by the no Koronga and Biro Juahire. By the way, what time is it today? What time is it now? Where you are? I think at Tinkrura time, but I think it's uh, coming to 11 in the morning. And we have all of the challenges we have here. Now we are going to have a jam. We are going to have a lot of time. We are going to have a lot of time. We are going to have a lot of time. We are going to have a lot of time. To research, to come and tell us about mental health. We are going to have a lot of time. Once again, we are going to have a lot of time. Kuija, kuikala no tubaliza, hali mental health, the series of mental health, and teaching our community and ourselves what is happening and what we may not have known about mental health. We are really privileged and we thank you so much for your hard work. Hati, without wasting our time, a lot of time, nkwenda kusaba, oyongere ku introducing yourself. I know people know you. You say, eh, hey, but you never know every Sunday we get new people coming to watch us or to join the, the talk. Tomanya asura kubali yata kumanyire. So introduce yourself and then we will begin the show. Otyo munabuoli. 
we bale mnatenyi um kanile mkumpura kurungi uh, nkwenda kusima uh, voice of unyoro kunyikiriza kuijaga kubaza uh, mental health uh, amabara ni nyowe tedi Diana Kemirembe abanywana bakira banyeta Diana then uh, family members relatives bakira kunyeta tedi uh, empaka abwoli induga masindi rukondwa kikaranga <laughs> mba muhara wa um, the late william kitakule um mba mu, uh, my mom is uh, betty isingoma arugabujenje uh, ababujenje nyena abamumanyire uh, manyiro yenda munomba ze uh, my clan so amba muraha to, to uh, and omuziro uh, gwaitu nien endahi then on my mom's side uh, baba bahinda umuziro gwabo niyo uh, enkende so um i think that's that's how i can introduce myself and the reason why i talk about mental health um i'm a social worker by profession and um nkira mnokora nabantu abai na mental health mu irwaro hanu mu washington state uh with a uh, franciscan so um Nyenda mno kubaza ali mental health so that we all know about it because it affects each of us either individually or as a community or tu inomuto utumanyire so that's why I really like talking about it webali mno ku 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 nyikiriza kubaza voice of unyoro Amazing. We were mno avoli ka introduction ako. Kabaidi very amazing. Utugambile kikioli, Ibarra, Mabara, Bazaira, Bakuzara, Uganda. I know the reason why I keep talking about wanting you to tell us about your clan is that we try the voice of Bunyoro is here to promote the culture of Bunyoro and we really need to know about clans. Uh, kandi abakira abantu clans ezikira tuzimanya na weke utukuba tutungile different people and they come and tell us about their clans then we kind of kind of learn more clans as we go along uh, baitu wale muno kutugambi na clans za ya, ya bazaire ba wabakuzara ni yawe of course you, we take the paternal side of the, our fathers in Bunyoro and so you uh, belong to that clan hati avoli uh, 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 wangi today is mental health Last time, uh, you told us about um, mental health. I just want you maybe to just give an overview of what you talked about last week, just to, uh, to gather or to put our viewers in, in, in continuation with today's topic, and then we'll start the topic for today. So uh, I think last month, uh, the elderly na uh, the mental health disorders associated with mainly abantu abakuru uh kabaza muno hadi dementia na baza nagamba anti dementia is an umbrella of uh, these other disorders zirimu uh, so that was under neurocognitive disorders na baza hali uh, the common ones is to manyire mu bunyoro na relating na our cultures and how they used to um talk about like um omuntu bakuba aino buko but what is really obuko i spoke a lot about that na baza muno um abantu abakwebwa you know ebintu nkebyo if you see your loved one ali mukaikuru ataina any other medical conditions um let's say diabetes uh, and why the zindi by to aina these neurocognitive disorders na encouraging abantu if you have a relative a friend abo manire kukusikinga professional help by to kialero um i i i want actually i'm committing myself ku introducing all the mental health disorders ezidi mu dsm5 uh, Hanu Mu America, we use DSM-5, which stands for Diagnostic uh, Statistic Manual, which is uh, the current one is DSM-5. Uh, DSM-5. Uh, um, 
Nankegio Ekolewa psychologists and a psychiatrist, they come together maybe after 10 years or 20, I'm not so sure, <laughs> but they come up and change a lot. So this DSM-5 in a, a lot of disorders, kionka kialero, ingenda kubaza hali um, eating disorders, okuria, nuko kuria, right, eating, kuria, awokwetu na tulia, right, <laughs> tulia ingenda kubaza ha, uh, kuria, endia ya itu, na those disorders associated with eating, then inja kubaza na elimination, disorders uh tuwakwa also akubo ino mwana uh aina these disorders otamanyire abandi babatera no kubatera you know so nibyonge na kuba nimbazaho and um if time allows inja no no kubaza ha um sexual dysfunction um inja nazo kuzibazaho which is a very we shy away from it culturally but it really affects us and then it brings all these other mental health problems like depression you know if you're not really comfortable with your body or you're not comfortable in your marriage sexual dysfunction uh that you can go for help and that can actually help you so and i would encourage the chat to be interactive because this is a very sensitive topic today uh but i'm hoping um that i will be able to cover according to the dsm-5 but people who have researched it and it's uh evidence-based so that um to many you encourage them to seek help uh professional help can in kwenda kujukizabantu tindi doctor i'm just a social worker but uh the beauty of being a social worker is that you interact and you you, it's 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 a beauty into Ororevin to Vingi and you interact in different ways and mental health is a, a very broad thing. So Nikion Kwenda want to kumanya into mental health is really, really broad. So today we'll talk about we'll look at eating disorder, elimination disorder, and sexual dysfunctions. Amazing. Amazing. Uh Awodi, we very to have that overview. Uh, what you you discussed about uh, last week, the, 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 you reminded us of what you discussed about last week, uh, not last week, a week, three weeks ago, and you gave us a summary, and now you've given us the background of what you're going to talk about today. Hati went without uh, wasting time to Kwenda uh, Tutandike with our DC, uh, the, the one that is most, you, you're starting with feeding or eating disorder. Feeding disorder or eating disorder, and you'll be there. So, uh, can I go in Jacobani? So, my intervene, I will be gambo, be a busy book, Kubazai, a video eating disorders. So, if you see me reading, uh, it's yeah. because I want to give you accurate information, and also I want to pronounce the words very well. At least since Utukurora Mugunyoro and uh, Uganda as well, eating disorder is not really talked about too much. Abokuba, it's not really focused on. But currently, our social media, abanabala Facebook, manya Instagram, YouTube, uh, movies, you know, and also being in boarding schools, um, these eating disorders are there, you know. Uh, 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 Bunyoro also, wakuwa bantu na wakuruga eba kuzine vizina mkwarura bana. So no, we gombo muntu, eh, ogo kona zoka kurungi na nyongu ya kuisana anka Diana. Not me really. <laughs> but uh, this, this, the eating disorders are really there. So, eh, genda kubanza, genda kubanza ho, um, eh, the rumination disorder. Egyo niyo nka, ngida muru nyoro bakietaga, um, okugaru wa ikumi. Is it the right one? Avali mchati vajia kungamba. But omuntu norie vya okulia, ni vigaruka kani no vichuwinga, kano garuka no vimida. That's how I can explain. 
So bagamba go gumutwa garobo ikumi a a a a a yebi yokuwa kani garuka kana garuka na bichi winga na bigara yo. It's a eating disorder. Um, abaki manide. So that's one of them. And the the avoidance um or restrictive food intake disorder. En niyo omuntu na na kandi na yanga kulia because sometimes it's sensory. Uh, over sensory ni kio kimu runyoro. Njiagenza muno kuroro runyoro if I can remember what's in runyoro. Ato muntu wa ina sensory issues na orundi tinyenda kulia supu, nyenda kulia ebintu ebili crispy, ebintu nkevyo. So na avoidinga kulia ebintu ebili indi ebili like nutritious and that becomes like a disorder for them as well. Na losing a weight in the process, uh, na, na losing a lot of weight, and then uh, sometimes Baba uh, Twala uh, sometimes I've, I've seen people come in for this. Uh, losing the weight, na isana nko munta inanka AIDS or, you know, something like that. But I not just that eating disorder. Uh, Alohendi, any kind of common, nio beta anorexia nervosa. Anorexia for nervosa tinsaki gara muru nyoro. Vaitu ngenda ku explaining what it is. <laughs> Ati uh, eri characterized by refusal to maintain minimum weight. No tina, no yangira kimukuria abokuo kutina kugaininga weight. Noro onyesele, orunda bantu bakutizinga, no kutizinga, you know, like in boarding schools especially this happens. Naga oga kanyeta muno, you know, anyesele muno, aluzingo ka weight, yobaba kusekeleza. So omuntu natanika intentionally kwanga kulie vyo kulia, you know, aluzinge this weight, which is not healthy, and in most cases they get depression out of that. Endi edi bolomia nervosa, endi edi like binge eating, na omuntu naalia, na saa kuija naalia, kangambe, naalia vyo kulia vingi munu, kana gana avisesema, you know, na avisesema yo, over na 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 kuisa like la laxatives or laxative nikiyo ke kuyamba kuturuka like o turuke na gani na kuisa laxatives inappropriately aturuke aihe yebi yokuli yebi aliirege so that's also a disorder then endi a binge eating binge eating egeonsa gi gi na anga awokuwa ndora muno movies ndora Netflix. So I can relate that one to Princess Diana, uh, Abali UK, uh, I know you know Princess Diana. Uh, she used to have that disorder. And binge eating omutu na agenda na mara like naria even to being for like three months, noria, noria, noria non-stop, then no lekera okulia for a period of time, maybe two weeks without eating anything. And then you go back and eat and eat and eat. That's called binge eating. So, but in that process, okwenda koraki, okwenda, okwenda, okwenda ku tomanire why you're doing it. Um, osa kuanga kulia ngonza hapati hizi, oba no wesedeka, avanta bandi bagani wesedeka, na kwa tankes, nkesani, kumi zona nazidia murundi gumu. Then also, nabu bagina niwa koraki, sometimes they, they, they throw up. If you eat too much, you're going to throw up, of course. So, um, as on as all, the main ones, Ezidimu DSM-5 Nkobumbagambirege and what DSM-5 stands for. But in Uganda, they use what they call International Classification of Diseases, ICD, Niobakosesa, instead of DSM-5. And these disorders also, they are in, D D uh, on, in that ICD. So, as on as all, eating disorders. Hati, how disorders as was to Gambia and Yoti Jazz Garukamavi Gambo Vicot, Munotis of Vivas, a cardinal Yoti in a brain ya sires, Mutana brain ya art yonk, saving Gambo Vinavia Sas of Imbuzabus. Hati, Ob Avantu, how do you tell Nti or no moon to write a disorder? Wokaban to abandon to Kurora, Gambia Band in the Valley of Yokuya being Sura Gambo Gwai no Mururu. To talk about it, it is a problem to do with a disorder. How do you then identify in Togo Moon to actually Tiguri Mururu 
obata kwekoza abani abani bagamba ah aka kaisike koza muno kakwenda mumanya kwa baka miss na rurungi mayaka kwenda kugenda mu bya beauty contest niko kata kulira you know we get those those we assume we have those assumption of people having such problems to talk manya and actually it might be a disorder so at what point do you tell that ono muntu arwaire actually So to answer that uh, uh, criteria, ingira ba geta criteria, muri ku 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 label ingo muntu ba over ku diagnose ingo muntu ono aina these disorders. They will give you if this is happening for like six months. A mezi mukaga ni kiapeninga na kura the same thing. Nugo aja kuba diagnosed. And in most cases, abantu ba ina these eating disorders, they also tend to have a combination or a dual diagnosis like depression associated with that atikira muno nja focusing abana abana bato like teenagers abaku watching these celebrities ne bavenda nabo nkunda kubana kafiganka ako nkwenda kubanka Beyonce nkwenda kubanka Jello nkwenda akora kinu so obabana bakumutizinga haisomero nko bungambirege iwo oli mukoto muno obaki you know associated to that or even they can't get into relationships with their boyfriends or our boyfriends in Abugamba. Eh, you will not go to Kwenda. You know things like that. So all in a yenova, na ati mukwenda wako na gezaho to reach the goal of losing weight. So the main goal is to lose weight in most cases. Ninety-nine percent is to lose weight. Uh, either by a in intention of looking like another person or because you're being uh, bold about it or of okuba <clears throat> you just don't i think kira munon kedinga big avoidance egeyo edi because of sensory you know but how you tell is omuntu wakuba atanike kuba depressed obali anxious oba katika tugame money nkapate oli na yanga kulia oba aizire kubunga buli bwaija ayanga kulia things like that then associated with um losing a lot of weight into na becoming dehydrated na 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 fuka na na fuka murwaide you know then it also becomes medical where they can go to the hospital ni wabateka amaizi ni wakula things like that and then others also become suicidal because of depression that's when it becomes really severe you know okay hati um I want to make it clear to the viewers, this is not our words of Voice Media UK, where Voice of Bunyoro in the Diaspora is broadcasted. Why to be Nubigambo, be a guest why to candy now, a gambire, a big hirombitabu. Hati, a kin to kinu, a kyokuria, biokuria, a kyogambire, queen, a princess, why to honey, a kabar, why it? A kyokuria, biokula, no mare mieze satu. Ota, ota, bahumuramu, tibahumuramu. Wabana alia, arwaire buno, wabanji eating. Do they eat constantly every single time for someone to, to really understand it actually omuntu ono? Gambira abamu, omuntu atanika kuba suicidal, omuntu asura kuba depressed, depressed maybe na, na umurora alilo, na yisviro mkisika. Hatebi okulia binuba bilia saa zingabo, kuba remember omuntu ali depressed. I kind of understand you last time when you told us about how when we came here, we are low. Hatebi okuliya bi nukandi atungata man go okuliya bi okuliya bi bingi bingi bingi. Kanda bi dira for how long? Ogan bi about three months. I just want to ask you to clarify about the bungee eating disorder. So the the bungee eating oh, disorder. <laughs> 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 Actually, if people can buy these books I've talked about, the DSM-5 and the ICD, they're a bit expensive on Amazon, but if anyone wants to learn more, they can actually get these books. Instead of diagnosing people, if you see someone like that or your family or your family member or your friend, then you can say, hmm. DSM-5, how can I help them? So to go back to the question that you just asked me, uh, uh, Benji 18, so for it to be diagnosed, like uh, the film I watched here, uh, Netflix, about Diana, Princess Diana, 
So what she would do in that movie, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, ati ya, ya, maybe like they have a party or oh, Paris. Nadia, 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 Nadia. Like she would take like two days, two days or three days eating, eating constant, constantly, and then she would stop eating. No, but I'm more heavy. Okuya, orundi na bisereka samuya ni bijundi da yo na biyewa na 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 pretending and again that kubiri akionka na pretending and take kamu kanwa na again and na bi na bi hayo na over na yefosinga na take kyo neki garu na yefosinga kubi throwinga out kubi se semayo. So Benji eating is really, really char characterized by, you know, maybe once a week to three weeks to three months of doing the same thing. Noria, noria, muno. Then, more rapid consumption of of that large quantity of food. But then after that, you stop. You control yourself. No lekela okumukulia, no yanga kulia. Gonzola kwa ilebio kulia no visereka. The main character is kusereke bio kulia all over the place. Obo visereke obi nagiro kwa hansi ya kabini. Oba hansi ya kitabu kia we. You know, nivi kuebeda na iyo, nivi juunda. So that's how people can start telling. Hmm, kike kikununka. Ona sereke bio kulia. Awaka kubisereka. So tukumwa ge bio kulia na visereka. Things like that. So then people start worrying, but also the main, 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 main take home point about eating disorders is in Taban to Bakoraki, but losing a weight. And they really become, it becomes medical where they are dehydrated, uh, nutrients, and then they are admitted in the hospitals, and then they are seen by a psychologist or, um, or psychiatrist, then how often do you eat? How do you eat? What do you eat? When do you eat? Things like that. Then walk gambila muto na kukura evaluation. Nwajja ku diagnosing and aga eh onali blemia novasa, onali avoidant, onali benji um eating. But umkwano also to talk about the elimination, awakana ye kind of attached to um to, to eating and feeding. And uh, I think a uh, very common or why to I want to can relate to it. Nkwenda kubaza ha inorelsis, which is omutu kunyara omwana katugambe developmental milestone omwana kukanga kusensa hakitabu eba miyake ena. But no sango mutu aine miyaka ikumi na msanju, aine miyaka abiri, you know, they are adults and they are still urinating on the bed, wetting the bed. It is a disorder. It is called inuresis um, disorder, urinating in inappropriate places, including bed wetting. Um, very common. Abantu wa jagamba, eh, manjiro munta kikora, manjiro mwana wana anka kikora, manjiro na anka kianyara kitavu, tawetaga. Onyaira kitavu, turu kiyo muku utavu wa umtu wala heru. Wabandu wa tera, umwana nyara kitava kendaki, onyara kitavu kendaki. But on a cloud kitabu. Meanwhile, this person has a disorder and they need help. You know, that is, I think, something that we can relate relate to. Then aloho and beta on elimination disorders, and bageta incopresis. Incopresis nuko kusisa ngran kuba ga kusisa, right? Difficating. Kusisa mungo ye uh uh emiaka yotaina kusisa mungo ye. Usually, it's also associated with uh, um, constipation, especially with kids uh, kids with neurodevelopmental uh, disorders like autism, you know, cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, kids like that. You know, according to the DSM-5, the milestone, the developmental milestone, Kuba ali poti trained eri miyake ena. So no sango mwana ene miyaka msanju, ene miyaka ikumi, aki, ali, aki asisa mungo ye, you know, it becomes um, an elimination disorder. Kionka o waitu mbali tukuruga, abana mwijuke, abana tibaba diagonizinga, that's why Bella Smiles comes in. <laughs> but abana tibaba diagonizinga, ni batere kia na kita kidoma, ama kikia na kinu kita kuega, ni batero guo, or oh, even some when they grow up, no uh toilet like uh maybe a public 
latrine or a public toilet no sangola mazire koza sa like a toilet akwasire uh oba bagabata obubi bwe over the dedicated you know naga take a wall those people have a disorder by the time you wipe yourself and put it somewhere you're putting you're putting poop everywhere you're finding on floors or walls it is a disorder and people need help talk about it obunkaba ni soma obunkaba ni nkura no gendaga mu toilets or mu or mu latrine no sango bubi babu hanikire bubi buli habisika no yekaguza honestly who does this ntamanya bambi buba abantu babaruwa ile bayi tetwa kubimanya na wake your this kind of talks help us open our eyes and remember focus back when we are growing up probably nkobogambira tujja kutanka kugaruka mu family zaitu okwo ntugamba eh unyagenda gakununya sanga yogo bubi na nkonu na akora kinna kinu so it is good that you've told us i had never heard about this disorder era ekimbayi ngenda kukaguza kandi hati bintu bikwataga ine vita ne byoku yeah. but then you call you told us uh, at the end that it is elimination disorder uh, we bale muno abwoli hati tugenda ha common treatments how do we treat those disorders as over this all high grow hati we bale muna tenyivambi um butabo abantu i know um abokuba we are talking about mental health and nkwenda kujukiza abantu nti mental health deals with how we are thinking how um how we are uh, our thoughts and um how we are processing those thoughts so the main treatment is of course psychotherapy <laughs> to change your thinking uh the more the most common one is the cognitive uh behavioral therapy these are like behaviors, right? Behavior one kyo kiki murunyo robo jeng, even to be neva murunyo. Behavior nize nize ngeri ya we over ngeri or something. Yes, emise emise emise. Ati ati emise. Cognitive uh, behavioral therapy equal allowing us to change kuchuse emise ya we nu abuako kure kintu kino. Uh, it's like educative also uh, they educate you about techniques of healthy way of losing weight you know if you want to lose weight uh, can you exercise can you eat healthy um niba kwegesa ibintu nkebyo uh aloho ekinde kibeta like abandi basakwesa nke mibazi medication abokuwa ijikwanga mbirege abantu abakira baina these disorders they tend also to have depression so they will put them on antidepressants uh emivazi ya depression kubayamba not to be depressed and but the main thing is encouraging them to seek help awakuba it's very hard to seek help most of them are in denial they will say nyoti nyina kizibu wakugambe nyine kizibu okia nkanti nyine kizibu ni wo wakunga nyine kizibu so it's so hard to get them to accept treatment but the main thing is at least if you recognize somebody is to encourage them to go for proper diagnosis nike kikubanza proper diagnosis meaning genda wa professional up diagnosing agambe wewe na nkai we oine kizibu kiti na kiti ekizibu kinu kili treated with this and this also group therapy so utwa tuli bantu bainga baina bench eating katugambe nja kuweza ila example ya princess diana uh, they can go with other people who have the same problem for counseling or in agamba yenyo kintandika kitiso bagamba um people people who have the same problems when they get together uh, they tend to change actually so group therapy is also very common then for elimination uh kira munaba na bembaeni mbazaho elimination uh, disorders the main common treatment is family therapy family therapy where the therapist will sit with the parents and the child mostly if they are teenagers or why they are shying away from it so you know then teaching this this parent you know giving like ideas like techniques 
over no kilakiri too much alohe mibazi e kiyamba like along over the hand over greater um to free to frame over this more pression in gonna be some of some of the gamble right i'm no can't in my new regard i'm moving your robot a medical professional will be the one prescribe those medications Uganda's case or oh, Ibunyoro. In Ibunyoro or in Uganda or Bunyoro in at, at this point, because we are talking about Bunyoro, where do we get this kind of treatment? Is there anywhere people where you know where people can go for support or for these therapies? Therapy, uh, family therapy, cognitive behavior therapy. Mkaha na mbere iwe nka research oba nka somere hebi intu minu kando li interested in Ibunyoro where you would advise people to seek help from a wakaba antu baadi babu ina wababa ina manjira abantu wababa ina obuzi ubunu baiti wa manjira ho kugenda. Hati nubuzi wa atenyo butu ina mubunyoro engira wa kuhura wa bunyoro development these are the things that we need to really talk about. Uh, the referral hospitals, as in Manila Zidi Bunyoro, as in Jack Syndica, either um, Kampala for treatment, is of course we have Masindi Hospital and we also have Koima Hospital. Those are the referral hospitals in, in, um, in Bunyoro. But according to the research, these are like overlooked things. I think uh, elimination disorder. Bagambo mwana ina just kieju, you know, aine kieju, ba mkulize kuvi, mwana ina mputu, takuega. So it's, it's not seen as a disorder. It's seen as a mwana ina mputu, aine kieju, takuenda kuhura. So they, they are not focusing on it. But according to the research I did in Kampala, there is this place called um, Grateful Ad Addicts in recovery it's in kampala in uganda they are really focusing on eating disorders and other addictive um things like substance abuse drugs and all that kind of stuff so this is the only place i found in in uganda that is actually focusing on eating disorders where about in kampala is it found it, I didn't get a real specific location, but it's in, it says Kampala, Uganda, according to Google, <laughs> according to the social media called Google. Yes. So, um, okay. Uh, but if, oh, some, if someone can put in um, grateful addicts in recovery, Uganda, it will pop up and it has their phone number on there. Amazing. Amazing. Abuoli nkabulikiro obo turamalash program ya iteno tonight. Mkusawa ntaiza maju. Ogeende o mchati ya itu ogarukemwe bikaguza bante beraba kaguize. Probably could even give them some of these directions to these area area uh, places where to go to habo kuba bandi basura kwa bayizire batali rede kuhandika na habweke nikija kuba nikiba nibebwa baito baraga kwa yo ha chat yaitu bakarora bagarukire mu those questions over over directing the where to go it will be of help we bale munabuli now nkwenda uh, tugenda kuba ntugenda ku muramu kake uh, i don't know whether we will have time to cover everything that you have prepared for us today Garuka, we will start where we have uh, we've ended, and of course you tell us more about uh, Bella Smiles, where you are, and I know today is a big day for you uh, as Bella Smiles, so you tell us something about it. Bye to Jakutandika, na mbele tukangire, deni turole how we can go about it. Kionka hati ni tugenda kumura mukake, abokube bintu baile vinge vyoktuara in, I think. Uh, na weki wa viewers, bye to Jakutwa ni wenda kumura mu. Tukumura mu na kazi na kanu, uh, uh, to inawaka by rapper Diko, then to garuke hanyuma ya breaki, to garuke na mbe, tutandike na mbe, tutandiki, to kangi. I'm 
and friends of Bunyoro, welcome back from that amazing break. Uh, now, wakazina anka kumukahulire ka tuina waka, ito ababunyoro dite tuenka tuina waka. <laughs> uh, yevale munoktera kazina karungako. Hati tukugenda garuka uh, ni nyenda just a few minutes to up, uh, acknowledge our viewers. And then uh, aboli na ijakuwa na atandika kutugambira about sexual dysfunctions uh, or sexual disorders hanyuma hanu. And then we will see how we will go about the rest of the prog on the, the rest of the program. Mwebale uh, muno abanyoro na abanyoro katian friends for tuning in in Kurora Hanu, Omkuru Innocent, Munganya Abel, all the way from uh, United M uh, United Arab Emirates, Dubai. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, White Ijuka indeed. For sure, nice song. We have a apuli kusima. Tui nahanu beti a isingoma mama nawe atuningire ini. We have a kusima amina amina. Uh, of course, tui naho baina baina wona eli. We have a onu muhiaka tinkamu duroraga kionka. We have kutuninga in good advice. And indeed, we are, are very privileged to have a body educators about mental health. Nyanjura uh, Immaculate, now tuning in. I don't know where she's come, watching from, but thank you so much, Awoli Akusima, for tuning in. Nkusera Nwebi Kaguza, Iwa Kaguza, Baiti Tinku Birora, Bokuwa, but amazed. Lydia Grace, great work. She's appreciating. Um, innocent Aurora, uh, Banyoro, to be proud of you. Uh, that is uh, uh, Innocent Aurora, uh, 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 proud. 
uh, of course Betty Amoti uh, Isingoma Mama wow I didn't know that thank you so much Amoti na wakusima uh, I bet she's a moti. <laughs> I think so she is. Uh, Annette Kabanyoro, Nawaku Wachinga in, the, in, a, in, the, in, in Europe, somewhere hidden. Uh, she never tells us where she is, but one day we will discover her. Uh, Alice Atenyi Mama, Nawaku Wachinga. Uh, Byron, Byron, Byron Gumikiriza, Nagamba. These guys that go go for eating competitions. It's just a talent or is it a disorder. Okay, egyo kikaguzo kia mane, kia nanyoma egeni nyenda kikaguza. Arawa na mabiromi na baku jagani, wali ya plating kakikumi. Oli na alievi okulia saani kikumi na azma, ikumi na azma lao, haka huu nga, imihogo, biyo na narigaitana mana atela ne, 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 ne nanywa e, boto za, za koko kaikumi. Nga mama we, mano gatugwele hii. So, uh, Byron is asking, is that a disorder? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Noja kubano mgarukamu, I'm sure. Uh, Aboli Kabi, Aboli watching. Mwebale mno yue na kutuninga in. Joshua, Boss Amara. Na watu ningile in wa Amara Studios. Mwebale mili moyone yotukora. We really appreciate. Kato Hussein Adieri. Na watu ningile in. Uh, he is saying well done. Ah, nibabo at the moment. Uh, who have put in something on the chat. And others are just watching, but we don't need to get a moldy, but I'm come moldy. Why do I know about Corona? Why do I go and come as a Vokal Manjanja Kumaza Mamara Gabu, Kandavani, Bataku and Baza Mamara Gaja, Mani Jakubaleka Gatia Kubaza Mamara Gaja. Now, where you continue ask questions about mental health, ask things that you have you have already thought they are old and we don't you don't understand them. Mubi kaguze trole how we can come about uh, why is why is it called imin, uh, elimination disorder roa kaguza wakiba kieta elimination kiku eliminating kiku kuya mubi ki why that name ekyo that is a very good question from Sam uh, Kake Mokitone uh, our own here at uh, the voice of Bunyoro in the diaspora her voice show media UK now where can you have your questions at the moment and we don't want to waste a lot of time because it's kind of covering a sexual dis, uh, disorders. Nazos to Gambide. Let me hand back to you. I miss you guys there. Thank you for the questions. Um, Caroline, thank you for making it so easy. You're a very good host. Um, you make me smile with the comments you make. So um, I'll answer Byron. I think Byron is my cousin. <laughs> thank you for following up. So um, competition, I think it wouldn't be elimination unless if it's if it's going on for as I said, if it's it would be under binge eating, consuming. But if it's not going, if they're not doing it two to three months, then it's not a disorder. They're just doing it for a competition for that day, and that's it. So I wouldn't say it's a disorder. But if they are doing it on a basis two to three months, then it becomes a disorder and it will be under binge eating. Then uh, elimination disorder, why is it called elimination? Is a wokuba okturukia. You know, you are eliminating urine from your bladder. You are eliminating uh, poop from your, you know, uh, that's, you're eliminating those things from your body. That's why it's called em elimination disorder. So without, without wasting time, I wanted to cover the sexual disorders so that next time when I come, I can cover other things because, as I said, there are very many dis mental health disorders in the DSM-5. And the six times I have to come here, I don't know if we will be able to cover everything. So with, if you are allowing me, let me go through the sexual disorders. But when I explain it, you will understand what I'm talking, okay? But I'll read the way it is written in the DSM-5. Here is a wrong information. So this one, the first one is called um, uh, voyeuristic disorder. <clears throat> so that one um, usually is omuntu narura abantu batamanyire niba having a sex. Uh, having a sex in Kyoki Murunyoro ni ni having a sex I don't know how they say it but they were having a sex now na derivinga satisfaction 
um, of, uh, of seeing them through like masturbation. So in order for, for it to be diagnosed, this has to be going on for like at least six months, at least six months to be diagnosed with this um, disorder. Then another disorder is exhibitionistic disorder. Bigger how it is um uh, like explained eh? and in the old in a driving a sexual pleasure through exposing your private parts in order to derive uh, sexual pleasure uh that is a disorder and it has also to be going on for six months to be diagnosed and the gambo kunganida uh frotioristic disorder and unio all in a driving uh no no way no way quarter a private parts that way it could be either you're doing it as a masturbation way but you do it constantly to 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 have that sexual excitement um candy or takwe gaita navanto bandi like through intercourse but you you derive sexual excitement through rubbing yourself uh, and then you you get your sexual pleasure through that. Um, then Hannah Lohendi evacuate a sexual um, maso, masochism disorder. Unkubisoma na nyong kubisoma busoma mukundora tingsa kubivaza. By to eno edi driving abantu. I think you've heard about this. Only naba na yenda ba mutebe oba ba mu humiliating. Uh, eba kumuswaza swaza oba kumujuma kumutera to to derive sexual uh, pleasure which is really weird and some some of you have uh, may have seen these things on tv through movies eh uh alohendi evacuate sexual sadism sadism disorder a kind of similar to the sexual masochism by to the only difference is in tono muntu we ono onaki kora akwenda psychologically ku oninga na physically ku oninga in order for for that person to derive sexual pleasure so mukubo na abone so kuo you are i would say you enka pata na we we are gaining that sexual um uh, pleasure uh then aloho e beta a very very common one e mugenda gamba e gyongi manide is a pedophilic disorder the pedophiles nuko omuntu ku having a sex sex with a young person usually if a child is um 13 and under ogomuto akikora ali 16 years and and above you you a pedophile and actually here you go to prison for it but if um if uh, I, I i think even in uganda nuko kubia mabana bali bato Okay, having a sex with them but here what they do there is the uh jails for people like that not common jails like where all criminals go our why it is a mental health so they go there to uh, 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 this mental health but they are not allowed to be in the society then um aloho fantastic disorder and uh, neo abantu nibakoisa nka Ebi, uh, at, uh, na, na driving a sexual pleasure from non living things like objects uh abandi barazeta vibrators <laughs> you know i don't know but things like that then you de de derive of people use pillows people use objects to rub themselves and and gain uh sexual pleasure then andy a the transvestic disorder and then you are like cross dressing no sanganko unko omuojo na geza ho kujwana nkabakazi um ku, ku, just to derive pleasure from wearing like a woman you know um nyingi muno um ati tugenda muna nka mu dysfunction those were disorders then a low sexual dysfunctions ezikira zi you hear aba nka alebi tebe bimpu rebi aba kiara Runda lo haba nta bagen nomba senga abaganda babeta ba senga things like that I don't know bubu nyoro to beta tuta mkujuka lo show in a following about marriages here on Voice of Bunyoro I used to like that 
I, I hope it comes back because I had many questions. <laughs> but um, with sexual dysfunctions, we have delayed ejaculation. Nuko omuntu like also these these disorders are diagnosed in a period of six months. Ekitwina kumanya six months. Not only one dent you're gonna be diagnosed with that. It has to be going on for the last min of six months. On delayed ejaculation, are experiencing an undesired delayed um, ejaculation in almost all occasions of patterned sexual intercourse. So, na na le moa performing. I don't know how to say this in Rinyoro. Can it make it? I think they are easier for me to say in um, English. Avokuba, every gambe vinde vyoro Rinyoro, every every kwata gana sex every to ashaming i guess that's why people don't actually uh talk about them a lot because of you shy away from them then a low erective disorder <clears throat> in a cover persistent into omuntu ali aina inability to attain or maintain adequate erection you know omsaja bagamba in front of gamba akater waki muruganda bagamba over Gundi Yamukona, like uh, the ship, uh, Kamutomera, you know, in ta, 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 something like that. In time, Kamutomera, yeah, Akatomera, in time, a functioning, you know, it does not erect, but it is a, a, a sexual disorder. Then, a low handy, um, in a quarter of a Kiara, uh, female sexual interest arousal disorder, umkiara no lemuakwana interest you na your sex. And then it affects your marriage, it affects you getting pregnant, it affects you, you know, to to stay in a relationship. It's simply you don't have interest. And usually it's caused by too much stress, fear, trauma. Probably they raped you at your early age and you got that trauma and you can't you have no interest in sex no no matter what. Then a low handy evacuator a uh, genet genital pelvic pain, uh, penetration disorder, omuntu before or after, no before sex, or in that pain in your pelvic. Uh, unexplained, medically not explained, or tamanya waki kekikuleta pain egyo. Uh even during sex, you have that kind of pain, and then it discourages you from having sexual intercourse. Then the end, a male hypoactive sexual de de desire disorder and a chron chronic lack of interest. Like it takes six and a year or even years. Chronic means it is ongoing. Or tiny interest in having a sex at all, no matter what, no matter even if you don't have interest to have sex with that person, although that that the, the opposite sex. Then aloho uh, premature or early ejaculation. This this happens um to um penetrating into like having sex in like one minute the person has already got their orgasm and you know only one minute of penetration uh so that becomes of a, a disorder leaving the other pattern like wondering what uh, i still want to have sex but you're already done um uh, something like that uh then uh, uh the last one would be substance substance or medical induced um sexual dysfunction or rundo omuntu anyu ilo muenge or runda kwesa drugs then they become really sexually induced to have sex just because of that substance abuse uh, related or medically you have a problem especially with people with uh diabetes they tend to have problems with uh sexual dis dysfunctions um i don't know if you want me to look at the treatments or if we have enough time uh, but a lot of like separating from that, there is gender dysphoria. I don't know if people have heard about that. But I know it like manifested about when people are growing up, like cross cross. Nivenda uh, kuchusa gender zab na gamba kala ndi 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 msai jaba tunkura ni ndi You know that, that's gender dysphoria. Uh, it's also under the sexual uh, disorders. Uh, but it's it's not like all the azar wakimulimu mostly, and that's why you hear or oh, oh, akazarwali gay, or oh, akazarwali lesbiani, and then 
scientists come up and say, really, does that really happen like that? Or is it just umuntu making an app, nayenda, you know, kuba lesbian or gay? But it's also in the DSM-5. Ebintu vino vitu gambi ire, awanyoro, tetuenda kubaza vintu vinu mubantu, but... It is good. That's the reason why we are doing these shows to be open. suffering out there with this kind of problems. They are disorders. marriage never distorted because of those few things that are happening in there. Hati, what? How do you seek help, or how do you advise people with such problems? Like, they have, they have understood them. It has gone up. You say it has to be for six months onwards. Before six months, you can't say it's a disorder. Is it the same with sexual disorder as well? It has to be yes. six yes. months constantly? Yes. yes. Six it has months. to be going for six months in yeah. order for it to be diagnosed as a, as a, a disorder. But uh, culturally, I think, uh, let me talk about um, in particular. I think culturally, I want to abaki da mubu nyoroba gamba gogo baka muroga, you know, or bamurogere, oba aka aka baka msanga na yenda, olomkazondi, omkazi ya muroga, so omusaja taki ya functioninga. Those are the things I grew up hearing in 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 our villages or in bunyoro. Nti eh nanka akatomero entama awakuba baka msanga. Na yenda <laughs> over aina 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 ekizibu kiti na kiti abokuba na akakoraki over aina kinto ki yakozere. So that's how we view it culturally. But also <clears throat> culturally, when you had problems like this in a in a in your marriage or rundo or, limukazi or, or in a kizibu kabine bimba, isn't it? Where we no like pelvic pain or or tiny interest in muki. Yabahoga abakiara, ababa gabali selected to talk to 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 abana ababanta bali mu marriages. Um abaganaba bitaba senga, you know, people would say to genda kurura senga to orundu wabaoga kasumi bali ba gamba ga gendo roles nanka wawe akugambi ide. Uh n gila na basaja na uba bahoga mbali ba genda gaba ka baka korak, bakaba za ono muntu. And also these days, uh, me growing up, I think religion also played a big role. Like you would go and talk maybe to Nyonka Kurani Mukatuliki, probably open up to a priest, you know, over open it to the pastor, Akugambide, over kuyambe, things like that. And then people would just say, you just need to be prayed over because these are demons attacking your marriage, you know. Uh, so you need, we need to pray for you. Okay, bring all the oil you need and and heal me. So things like that. Do you want me to go through the treatments as well? We need to know these treatments, and then we will see uh, how far we will go. Habokuba, uh, it is important for us to dis to cover the problem and get a solution at the same time. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ati, 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 for the sake of time, nikion kualiza buangu buangwe, but I will follow up if people have questions in the chat. I will follow up with people. So the, the main treatment in the Western world is sex therapy. Sex therapy through sex education, which incorporates sex education, sex techniques, like how do you entice your partner? you know, to help them overcome this. Most of these dysfunctions are either someone is anxious, I don't know, a few sex therapists would say, try to entice your partner, do things before having sex. And I don't know if you hear about this, uh, this tribe doesn't know how to make sex. So, this tribe makes, they know how to, to have sex well than this tribe. Movie Hura, right? So, just to have sex and boom, they are gone. Uh, over this right tribe is best at this. So, just learning about techniques of how, you know, um, sex techniques and also. 
because we we know mental health deals with how we think uh our behaviors so going for like cognitive behavioral therapy still helps a lot to 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 help you change your thinking so that it can either help you with a fear you have probably you're you're fearful of men because of what happened when you're young and you have that trauma or by you you you're just anxious you know you're just scared of having sex so you you go through that sex therapy then andy eddie uh, just educating educating our community about these things that it's okay to talk about sex and it's okay to talk about uh, problems you're having every time i'm having sex i'm having pain oh i can't tell my mom i can't tell my sister i can't tell any, my friend they will laugh at me or they will do this but encouraging people to talk about these things and and, and normalizing it naturally then um i think obungambire itwe mubunyo rotkoisa muno herbal medicine uh, kugenda ati nkorurundi bora genda wa natural uh, uh, healer akakweleza anke mibazi ati my research i looked at a few uh things that are used here in the west and back home so here in the west also they 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 will help you naturally like um acupuncture acupuncture is like an asian way uh mostly chinese uh, those asians they use acupuncture so much they focus on some nerves uh, if so, if you have a sexual dis dysfunction or somewhere, they will focus on what nerves help you to really calm down and focus on, on sex. Then exercising, eating healthy, uh, avoiding alcohol. Tobacco too, smoking, tobacco that can affect your sexual um, life. Then um a herbal is in somero gezi kida zi rosemary over rosemary nikyoki. Rosemary is re ne ne jamu bin to vingi muno. So mugiviale mubena yo, bakiram no gichumbi rombi o kuria o sa gichuman kachai. Then there is maka, I don't know what maka is. Uh panex um aloho yuhiba. Bai tu mubunyoro abantu bakira kwesa umulin umulinga guno gubadia. Um, uh, then people are using enjai marijuana. Uh, they are using that a lot. Ginger, um, near entangahuzi, right? Entangahuzi, um, spices like onions, garlic, red pepper, kamla, kamrad. Apparently, it helps, um, especially with the, with the males. So even if you say about do you guys know omulondo? I want to It's like a rooted thing, and people chew it. Omulondo, uh, is it in, in, in Rinyoro or Luganda? To know that root in uh, root in Rinyoro, kionkanki manyere it is a brown long root, and it is sold in uh, here in the UK. It is sold in one of our local shops here that sell. Brown. I think that's mm. the one you're talking about. Yeah. I don't know. 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 <laughs> I know. The last one is drinking coffee, drinking lots of coffee to give you that caffeine so yeah. that you're hyped up, I guess. Yes. So those are the few things that I researched about to help. But also like, yeah, okay. 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 sex therapy. Hati I just want to to know are how about psychology about about therapist or about counselors about soma set to be sexual therapist or maybe when you're over here you're not you're going to be here you're already on one car or muses are here on the diaspora to be honest with you i think when you're to buy in until you're not so many sexual therapist i did not find that information 
If anyone has that information, I would love to know it. But Hanu, Hanu, in Europe or in America, yes, we have sexual therapists. They focus on, um, you can go for family therapy, especially if you have problems in your marriage. And then once a, a family therapist re realizes it is something to do with sex, they'll refer you to a sex therapist. Yeah. Amazing. So, or to Gambi, the house, uh, how to, maybe you know, to Gambi, the natural ways to, to, <laughs> to help with sexual disorders. I hope you can see you can see Gambi as we conclude the show over uh okwenda kutugambi laukake about the history we ja we were going to play a video ya bella smiles unless there is anything that you have not talked about that you think is important for people to know about sex disorder uh okibaze hati uh musamare then it play a ka video ka bella smiles and then you give us an update on it and then we conclude the show i would say just in summary atenyi uwebale muno is uh, to normalize the talk. Abokuba abantu abakira ba ba yokuba invisible, but they are scared uh, or they shy away from talking about these things, and then it becomes a problem. And if it's a medical issue, like then you you have infertility issues. Um, I think in our culture, niba gama ba kakuroga buroga over or inenge somi nikiota kuzarida. Niba kuanga no kuanga mu aside the abaro of us or msaja na niba muanga things like that. We need to normalize these things and educate our communities about them, and that there is help. There is help for these um uh, diseases or dysfunctions and even infertility. Me myself, I went through infertility and I had to do IVF. So there is help. There's treatments. There is all these things that can help us. So normalizing that, that talk, I think that's what I can conclude on. Normalize it and we talk about it, we make awareness, educate our people, and even um, like give them uh, resources where they can go. If we don't have these people, can we have people go to school for it? Banyoro na Banyoro Katan, Friends of Bunyoro. What to do about sexual disorders? I know many people don't like this topic, but as we said, we are going to start continue to continue talking about it because it is important and it is within our community and we need to get a solution. We need to educate our own people. If there is any reason, if we do not have people who have experience in sexual therapies, we advise people to go for it. Why not? Uh, try to introduce it to our, uni our university for people to have help when they have such problems. Can you know continuing and to be bazaho, it will junk our talk shows in cousin into Gambiraba and to be of wide move into Avio, Abanda by Bakwa Tabi Manian Babi Mania. Hatu, we are going to show you. Uh, sorry, we had she had to conclude so fast by to we to kubi to Kuiruki of Wide, uh, Habokwanya Katu Kora, Nabo, Natoki, Nabo, in our Kenda Genda Kumuramu. Uh, we just want to show a little video of Bella Smiles because this is her project, this is her baby, her charity. We need to keep bringing, her, uh, bringing it up in our talks so that you guys who are watching us can join her to help the children in Uganda who are suffering. And she's doing a great job with, the, uh, with her team in Uganda. Mucho muno, munyumire ka video kanu clip. From Bella Smiles and then Abolia Jakubana Jana to her update, and after that, we will conclude our show. Okay. Hi, everyone. This is Yarahanga Simple, the managing program director, Bella Smiles for DD. So, today we mm. have come to give our clients some covid relief you mm. know uganda is sort of a lockdown so people don't have mm. food so as well as miles we we have tried to secure some some food uh like rice sugar so uh, masks for our clients i mm. uh, would like to thank our ceo that is teddy diana Kemirebe, who has been running this fundraising activity for the last four days and we've managed to raise some funds which we are using to raise which we've used mm. to raise as you can see we've got some rice and sugar in uh, maize flour soap salt masks 
and thank the things for our friends. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you. Have a good day with you. We hope to come back very soon. Let us try to see how it goes. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. You are the, you are the only one of the <laughs> ones that have tried. Uh. Hello, mommy. Hello. Hello. How are you, mommy? You know we are greeting from afar. Hello. I know Yeah, the things are not easy. How is that going? We are trying. How are you, sister? How is our friend? Fine. And the sister, she has gone. Where is the sister? God called us. <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, thank you. Yes, I know it is COVID. You cannot do a lot of things, but at least you are trying as well as night. Yes. And they are going at the shop or anywhere. Please put on the mask. Yeah? Okay. All right. to reach him we send him the money and it seems his phone is busy you know with the village the network is the problem there and we also have to find a place where there's, there's, there's always a specific place places which have network so uh, let me call him back Start. hello yes this is bella smile for developmental disabilities and, uh, I'm going to call him to confirm whether he has seen it. Transaction ID is no Yes. Mm. Yes, it is 240. Mm. Mm. Uh, yes, yes. Each one will take one. Mm. This is the family. Uh, mm, so they are very happy, very appreciative what you have done. Uh, and this is the family of Onovamuita. Uh, yeah, Dan. Uh -huh, Dan Sewanyana. And they are also very appreciative of what you have done the last night. So they are very grateful in that they are. Also hoping next time, uh, don't forget, turn up and give more assistance. And? This is the mother. Because of time, we have not been able to go there. So we are also very appreciative. Also, the members of that family, they are appreciative. This is the mother. So, thank you very much, Bella Smile.
thank you very much for what you have done at this particular time. Film or a clip, ya video clip, ya Bella smiles. Some of the words were not coming out, but next time we'll do, uh, I'm sure Bella Smiles will do a very good job and look for someone who will do the audio so that people come to know or hear what you're actually, uh, the kids are talking about and the mothers, the, 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 the relatives of those uh, uh, kids of ours. Webale muno aboli. Omuli mogo go kora mu Uganda, kurole raba nabo na timu yawe yona. I just want you to say something little, very briefly about that video and then probably you tell us the day, what today is, and then we will conclude the show. Uh, thank you so much for, for that. And I apologize for the video because um, uh, actually our video person, his name is uh, Amoti uh, Julius. Um, so he he was in Hoima and he couldn't do that and we did that during when they do did the lockdown uh, regarding COVID nineteen and I don't know those who follow me on Facebook I was doing live live videos and I came last month and I was like give give uh, let's work together all that so that's the video we were trying to show that we we tried our best we supplied food we supplied masks we supplied um uh, uh sanitizers we we tried our best with the little money we we received and thank you so much to the donors who uh, who did uh, who came to our rescue on that um campaign for no child left behind du during this covid 19. so that's all about that video and uh, i know we'll have more but because of lockdown uh we couldn't get uh the videographer to capture so they use their own personal phones to come together and do something at least to show people that we did something thank, thank you so you much for everyone who donated please yeah, thank, thank you. you amazing uh hati o o kwikara gano to gamba kirokinu o woka ngamba kirokinu kiba birthday a bella smiles how many was it the day you started or is it today or some uh actually, actually it is going to be on the 31st of this month okay so um we'll have our anniversary we're gonna be one year Yay! <laughs> and we've done a lot of things i mean in one year we are we we are able to do a lot of things in one year uh we have our anniversary on july 30 31st here in washington state so i'm encouraging everyone who is in washington state to come and if you're not in Washington, Washington State, but you can still contribute because it's a fundraiser, please go on our website and um, make a donation. Yeah, we are trying to buy land in Uganda. We don't know where. I keep on coming here saying I don't know where. Uh, we'll let you know once we, we're done with the fundraiser. Uh, we'll have a silent auction there. Um, we are partnering with uh, Joslyn Alinda from Masindi who is teaching some of our mothers how to wave, how to do bracelets, and how to do simple things like jewelry, stuff like that. We'll be selling those things uh, at, the, at the event. But also we are doing, um, we are in, in the plans of uh, starting a specialized uh, daycare in Washington state, probably um, in our county, which is called Pierce County. That specialized daycare will be uh, helping children with developmental disabilities have a place to go if their parents are working. And also if they have speech therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy, we can transport them there. And if the ABA therapist can come to the center, they can do that. But it's going to be a wraparound service center for them so that we can help these children and their families. So we are really, really appreciating God. God is having a hand in Bella Smiles. Uh, we are thanking those who are donating. We are thanking everyone who is supporting us because as you know, starting a nonprofit is a very hard thing. Uh, we are learning, people give us ideas, people uh, give us recommendations. People really are supporting us. I'm very, very grateful 
for those who have come up to help us in any capacity. Please thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Awoli, for that uh, recap about Bella Smiles, what you have done, what you plan to do. And I'm sure our viewers and listeners have heard exactly what you've said. And if they have not, they will follow you up on your website as it is, has been put up on the screen or on our chat. Please go and look out for Bella Smiles. Look out for Aboli Teddy Kemirembe, the founder of this amazing charity. Or here we call it charity. Sorry, I keep saying charity, but I don't know how you call it in Uganda. But of course, I have to use our English uh, language, uh, our our Queen English, we call it charity here. So please go out and look out for her, help her where you can, donate as you, she has asked because she's actually doing an amazing work uh, in, back in Uganda, helping those kids as you've seen them. Most of them have, uh, commonly we see, we have, as according to the video, they have what we call Down syndrome, some of them. So please go out and reach out to her. Hati Abanyoro Nabanyoro, Katia and friends of Binyoro, uh, this is going to be we're going to conclude unless Aboli has anything, but I think she has already said what she wanted to say. Uh, Aboli, thank you, Gamba. Over now, Angwa. Mkwenda Kusima, Voice of Bunyoro. I know those people working in the background, like the technician, uh, Samuel, Iwe Wenkawa, and be your very good host. Uh, even if I'm not presenting every time, even if we are doing our exploring with my kids, I always tune in to listen to you because uh, uh, you're very encouraging. Um, I, I want to thank everyone who is in the chat room for taking time to be there because it's not easy on a Sunday. But thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate the voice of Vinyoro. Webale muna woli, kaboli nko wasimire na nyowe ni nyenda kusima, abataiwa angewona benyina hano mstudio, ni nyenda kusima arali, kitone, ni nyenda kusima atenyi, jeje, uh, the man called je, uh, je, alo mubiyo mabia itu hali atukua tiraho, ulikimu kiono, no, ubutuba tutamuine bintu biona bijami, inga baitu ntusima muna atenyi, webale omuli mongo gotkora, omkuru uh, atenyi, uh, bamuenda, Joseph, jeje. Hati, with that conclusion, uh, I am uh, thanking everyone who has been in the chat. Mwebale muno inyue na kutufollow winga. Ba viewers bayi tuabanda bata giving up every Sunday. Uh, kandi, uh, uh, atenya nyijukize hanu wa kagadi. The boys are all here in this room are from Kagadi, Kandi, Tukwenda, a guest, Akuruga Kagadi, Aijehanu Nawe, a presenting. And my next, my next hunt of a guest to invite on Voice of Bunyoro will be from Kagadi. Na habwe kio nevi yoni nyenda kusima muno inyue na baku following our Facebook page ya ito ya Voice Show Media UK, Mwebali. Baku following her YouTube ya ito ya Voice Show Media YouTube, uh, a platform nanyo mwebali. Abaku to follow winga hake handi ha website ya itu nanyo mwebali. Abaku to follow winga ha Instagram ya itu ni sima muno. Abaku to follow winga ni baraba ha mkutu gwa, voy, uh, gwa Bunyo Rokitara Development Association website na hobu ni tuwayo ni sima muno mwebali. Inywe na abaku to kwatrao and everybody who calls and encourages me every Sunday after I leave the show even when things have not gone bad. Well you encourage me and say Carola inokora kurungi. Na wamba manyeti nko zile kurungi encourage me ni insima muno. Na habuwe kyo ni tugenda kuruga hasho right now. I want to say please keep the COVID-19 regulations wherever you are because COVID-19 is still real and you know what is happening across the world. Please follow, follow what the governments are telling you to do. Keep distancing yourself. Put on your mask when you can wash your hands wherever you are after touching things please coming back home wash your hands nebi ebigambo bike nyenda kubendeza week nungi i want to wish you a very good week ahead of us mukama aikale hagati yai to may the good lord keep the step between us and i wish you a very merry uh, a very wonderful week ndituija kuba ntugaruka next week 6:30 sharp and this time we are going to be inviting a very great important person uh, in Ibunyoro, that is the city mayor of Hoima. Mutere ira karangu, abokuwa nkwe na nyona muije muhule, kiki city mayor waite kia kutukora muhoima city. Nituijia kuba tutandika na we next, six, next week, 6.30 sharp, please do not miss that show. Uh, Kandi ni mbedeza e wiki enungi. 
ni nyowe Carola inajuna kibuka atenyi ha show ya voice show a voice of bunyoro in the diaspora broadcasted on voice show media uk kandi it is supported by bunyoro kitara development association na rise up community inclusion mutyo muno abanyoro na abanyoro kati and friends of bunyoro mukama alinde please stay online and listen to this amazing song by our own uh, 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 well our sister our sister oh <laughs> Omutima gwabunyoro our own is a p omutima gwabunyoro mukanyumira akazina and we'll see you again next week mukamali in the bye okay hi everyone this is yarhanga simple the managing program director bella smiles for dd so today we have come to
Yo.